smiling faces on stage at the Grand Pacific Hotel on Friday. One after another, seven leaders from the Pacific Island nations had just signed the first charter on the climate change under the wings of the Pacific Islands Development Forum. The so-called Suva Declaration is a list of demands and expressions of concerns that the Pacific Islands in three months' time will take to COP21 in Paris. Well, I, I, I like it very much because uh, we put all our, all our thoughts, all what we want to um, you know, uh, present to the uh, COP21 in Paris. Uh, the declaration that is going to be issued today uh, have our full support. We're very happy with what we signed. We are hopeful that uh, it will carry on to the other forums that we need to attend between now and Paris. But it is a very strong statement of, of, of uh, specific sentiment on what must be done with climate change. I think most of the views that I express are you know, views that we also share. And it's important that we went to you know, COP21 with one voice. And I think that's the whole objective of this, of this, of this forum. And I think we have achieved it. But no one was probably more proud than the host of the event, Fiji Prime Minister Vorek Bainamarama. The Suva Declaration is, a, is going to be an historic document, an historic document moment in which the Pacific came together as one. The nations came together and signed the declaration after three days of careful negotiation at the Grand Pacific Hotel. But also about the inspiring leadership. An important stand from the Pacific nations, according to UN Special Envoy for Climate Change, Mary Robinson. I think it is a strong statement from the countries of the region, the small island, South Pacific states. And uh, I believe that there was a very good, strong mood about adopting this resolution because it also had support from the civil society and from business. And people know the situation is very serious. I think it's important that this voice is heard in Paris. That we shall overcome.